your safety. Map, right mouse button. Boiler room. You say. Read note, left mouse button. Callaway, boiler's been on the fritz again. So for one to help me with technical stuff. How many beers you owe me? Twenty? Thirty? Well I if well if I ain't here and the fixing's on you, I don't give a goddamn if it ain't in your damn job. Spare parts are in the comms, figure it out. Left some double A's over there too, and if all the loud noises in here have you scared have scared you too bad. Okay. Okay, so we need to go find the comms room. Where's the comms room? room? Comms room is this way, I believe. Uh, no, this way. What are you going to do in comms room? Going to look at the observation deck and try and find the comms room, so oh, I can interstitial. Asking what you were going to do in comms room. Terrifying. He's asleep. Seven quarters locked. It's just locked. Communications room. What is this? Can't see it anyway. This is Witowski's box. I'm seeing a spare fuse. It must be somewhere around here. Oh, that's pills. Uh, well, fuck it, we'll take the pills with us. Yeah, sure. Distress beacon. Funny how a little bit of metal is staring between me and frozen death. Bring it, bring it, better bring it back to heating. Jump back to my terminal corporate likes the log immaculate helps with avoiding litigation and typing helps me pass the time. I'm not sure if I should be closing doors on my way around or not. Log interrupted by system failure. Parts of base are currently accessible. Systems are not behaving as they should. So this call from comms from Beacon has not been acknowledged. Currently, worst case plan of action will be to repair one of the high pressure diving suits, using it to make a journey to Diving Bell W95. Personal note: I think the situation may be affecting my PS. I think I know what that means. If the emergency beacon is not functioning, I've got less than no chance of getting rescued. I have to fix it. Repair the emergency beacon and comms, okay. I can go and do with that.
Back to my terminal. Yay, we're haunted by ghosts, the people we've killed. So, my psyche. Just saw something I could not possibly have seen at depths like these, even though this situation is not my fault, it is not, and it is not. As a command, please consider the stress of the circumstances once the investigative probe is launched. I was looking forward to spending Christmas with my wife and child. Why would I have not failed? Not failed, but I didn't if I wasn't fit to return to the mainland today. Please excuse the rambling command. Not feeling well. Going to bed. Date December 24th, 1993. Press button to continue. Report authorised off screen. Don't let them see. Don't let them see your shame hide. Oh, okay. Oh, is this we just reset? One second. Is my stream, stream just reset? Apparently, eight minutes ago. I didn't know oh. this, even though I was watching the stream this entire time. Hmm. That's annoying. So, yeah, apologies, folks, if you've just. Um, this is probably going to be up. Rather late introduction, if you are a part two. So yes, um, we are doing the Dreadex collection. This is the second part, apparently. Um, where we're going to carry on. We're doing the diving bell at the moment, um, and we're going to see where we go from there. So yeah, let's just uh, resume. Base still holds for now, no response. Uh, no response to the stress call yet. Beginning to consider my escape options more thoroughly. A personal note, please forgive the intrusion command. I think I slept last night. If, if it was night and if I did sleep. If I did, the incident wasn't my fault. I look, that was all I could think of. The others stood close around me, speaking of things they couldn't have... Could have known where they were alive. Power fluctuations, I don't like this at all. Check electrical. If I weren't worried about life support systems continuing to function, I still want to check the electrical chamber. I don't like the way uh, these shadows look. Infernal doors always malfunctions. I guess I'm taking the long way around. What is the long way around? Oh. Uh. Where are we? We're at the atrium. Uh, so oh, right, okay, we're going this way. Eleven quarters, okay. Guess we can take the left up. Cargo elevator still seems to have power. There's missing parts. Not sure where the other poor bastards broke it, but I don't think I can recommend them now. Left is broken again. This seems almost intentional. I'm going to die down here. Keep it together, Voss. Just find this elevator parts and get it functioning. I'll skip the part where I tell you that I'm beyond sick and tired of telling you people the damn override code for electrical. Here it is. Uh, 1-8... 90. You get that this time? 1890. It's 1890. 1890. One, one less than 1890. Eight, eight, 
one more than 1889 one less than 1891 now that you remember that I'm going to have to say this to you one more of you bastards wakes me up at 2 in the morning to ask me what the code is I'm going to murder you with this axe don't test me Hughes I mean, fair enough. Hmm. Caraway, I had the same dream that you were talking about or something similar. I went to bed sober as a stone too. There's an extra bit. A weird extra bit. When I woke up, I had something in my hand, a page which had been torn for a Bible. Something doesn't feel right down here anymore, insofar as it ever did. Find two flywheels and a belt to fix the elevator. Is that one? No, no. Each one is duller than the last, not fit for cutting bread. Yes, it almost tempts to take one. approaches dive suit repair station and we'll take it out of here once it's not full of holes okay diving bell my pressure okay Do 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 Okay. Medical bay. Sure. If you want, well, do you want me to set an alarm and come get you at five? You can have a lie down, or I'm not. I'm falling over. Okay. It's more so you remember to wind up around then. Okay. Do you want me to set an alarm for that, or you? I will set an alarm. Um. Do you want me to set it for a quarter, quarter past half five, or do you want me to set it for five? Depends on how long you need to wind up. Uh, depends how long I have left to go, really. Because I want you to be in bed. By six. six. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when I find alarm. You will call to come get me to take meds, but yeah. Okay. Because I'm just. Alright, well, I've set it for half five. And pretty much when that comes up, I'll just wind up. over two hours time. That's fine. That should give me enough time to do at least a chunk more of these. Okay. Right. 
Where the? Wait, I've got a fly belt, I think. All right. Good night, Mo. I have a, I have at least a belt. I don't know where to find the other flywheel though. Unless it's back out in the atrium. Ah, there we go. There's the other flywheel. Yes, he's asleep on top of me. There we go. Something out there, it knows I'm here, it knows everything about me. Where are we? We're living quarters. Living quarters. Ah, lift. There. Okay. Welcome Raiders! Welcome Hullion! How's it going? How was your stream? How did we get on? Shutouts. He didn't have any wins. Oh, that sucks. If anyone isn't following Hullion, you should. They are amazing. Oh, I have spelt the name wrong. Of course I have. Thank you, cat, for standing on my hand while I was typing. Yes, good about this time. Apologies. Right. Yes. So. Wait a minute, no problem. You enjoy your food. Thank you very much for the raid. Uh, for those who don't know, we are Penance RPG. We do a bunch of TTRPGs, a bunch of indie horror, and a bunch of co-op games. And tonight is a horror game night. So we are doing the Dreadx Collection 2. Um, stream has just restarted briefly. Um, but we're probably going to go for like another two, roughly about two hours. We're going to try and get through this. This is The Diving Bell. Which seems to be a game about running around on a dive... On a... Basically, very uh, well underground, underground, underwater craft that's had some sort of accident happen to it. Why is it locked? They're over here to do this. What's this? Is? It's met code one nine eight. No, it was one eight nine zero, not one. It's one eight nine zero. Passcode accepted. Restart generator. Oh. Restart generator two. Restarting. Restart generator three. Oh, generator's active. Thank the gods. Better get the electrical up and running again. Oh, generator's active. Hooray. Right. Let's take one of them so we go back down. We start electrical transformers. Oh, okay, we've got to go and do that then. That's upstairs. Which is an electrical, I believe. We are we are in the boiler room. We have to find what this 
We know what's going on. Current location level one life support. Oh. This electrical? Generator room. Oh, level one. Ah, oh, it's up. That's why. It's upstairs we need to go to. Oh, sorry. But it's spun around. Right, okay. Upstairs. Into electrical. Right, we're in electrical now. How do we restart things? You, then you, then you, then you. I need to finish my log for the day. Protocol doesn't stop because there's a disaster. Indeed. Um, let's go back downstairs. Which is this way. Yes. Let's just go back to here and type it wasn't my fault 15 times. That seems a bit appropriate. Oh, hang on. I can't. Oh. Um. Uh, I'm not just too close to me around me. Amendment. Another system failure. Electrical this time. Another crew members linger outside the base. I think they blame me for what happened. When they, which they shouldn't. Accidents happen. Accidents happen. Things happen. It's Christmas Eve and I was supposed to be home by now. Extension ordered at the last minute last week. I've been in these depths for nine months. I haven't seen my wife. My kids forgetting what I look like. I'm supposed to get holidays off. I should be in a warm bed or crouched beneath the Christmas tree with Zania. Organising the presents so they don't stick out and make the dog think it'd be a good idea to tear into them. But instead I'm going... I don't know. Okay. I'm going down to die here. You destroy these logs before you ever... D before you... Do you better read every word and know what happened here? None of this is my fault. It's yours. It's the manufacturer's. Why wasn't there a fail safe on the automatic doors? Why is there a, not a manual? Why is there a manual override? I didn't. I didn't. Did I push the button? Another, another mechanical failure killed the others, not me. Maybe throwing myself out of the airlock is a good idea. After all, beats waiting around here to die. Rescue isn't coming, but I'm set. I'm getting out of here. My dive suit's damaged, but there's a machine on the pressure control that should repair it automatically. I didn't catch what the end of that said. Um, try to switch to the fill save part. I'm sorry, but I couldn't be helped. I had to go to the bell, save yourself, Caraway. Begin the automated suit repair, though if you do, though it will do you no good. Okay. Right, where are we? We're crew, we're crew quarters upstairs. Just take the lift down. Oh, I said there's this We don't want to go into this We want to go to the lift. Uh, what's this? locked uh, observation deck mechanical bay plan is in motion I stole the only component of the failsafe note no we're turning it now, no going back. Soon we will all be part of something greater, Hughes. 
Um, right. Oh, wrong way. It's uh. Why is that way? It's there and to the other door. Through the stairwell. Where are we? We're going into this one. Nope, it's the other way. It's the other way. The prayer process looks like it will take a while. I should write a log. I should write. I should hide, I should write a log. Well, I've still got the repair machine up and working as per your system request. Sorry to throw your suit up the first time. Not really sure what happened, miscalculation, I guess. Should be able to patch up your suit, but it'll take a while, I guess. Uh, I get I get you like your personal space, but during transfer, maybe you should just use one of ours, otherwise, you won't be diving for quite some time. I did not mean to take that, I meant to tap out of that. Uh, I'd like to leave the feel safe part I stole, but I'm too damn scared. Why did I take it? Why can't I control myself? Why? Why? This isn't the worst of it. No, no, there needs to be something more. I need to get out of the fuel ball. I still have time. I have to go. Right, well. Let's go write a blog. Let's go write a blog. December 25th, report author, same as it's been the last two times, not like anyone else out there would, would write anything down. I don't know what just happened, my readout says that hours have passed, but I've been sitting here this whole time. Not the whole time, there was not quite a vision of something filling in my head, more like an imp impression. Press the outline, I can't explain it, the dark something fills my... Crevasse half buried in the wall. Damn it, damn it, damn it. The base has to hold together. I have to finish my log. Tendrils reach out through the earth. Oh, what do we need to go? The Transformers, go to them. I already know. Why is this log so important? Doesn't matter. The suit's not fixed yet. I have to write. Go to electrical, reset the power. Dark something fills the crevasse, half buried in the wall. Tendrils reach out through the earth. Probe. Probing blindly, sensing tremors, life like me. The silhouette of massive and dark bristling, not a form like anything I've ever seen. My first thought was a mass of pustules. Life support failure. If I don't make, fix it right now, I might not make it out of here. Uh, that's... Sweet. 
I am not writing my last will. So like my businesses. The wholly impossible larvae. I can feel it tapping on the darkness below. There's one concern I've got. Those long slender appendages on the earth. They're all beneath the base. So long as it has they could easily wrap around it or wiggle it in the open water. So they could easily have found their way into the walls of the base, but why haven't I seen them? If that's the case, are they tampering with the electronics? Or could it be something or someone else? I don't like this. I have one other persistent burning thought, but no, it can't be. I won't accept it. There's nothing needing th th reading this but me. Alright, I'm ready. I think I can get to that godforsaken bell. With a respiratory tank attached to the suit, I should be able to withstand the pressure long enough to get there. So I can get to the bell before the pressure collapses. Uh, the bell is still beside the base, it hasn't fallen into the crevasse. Assuming nothing grabs me while I'm out there. This will be my last log, Zeana Adi. I'm coming home one way or another. Boy, oh boy. You've really been having a rough go of it, eh? Stuck down here with just the four of us for days upon days. Not a word from the surface, not a ray of sunshine. Isn't supposed to be locked. Go to the diving bell, go to the diving bell, the suit, the suit, put it on. Alright. Why do I have a feeling I need to go somewhere else, but let's try it. And there it was, thinking I'd never see my family again. I should have had faith. So you know, Adi, your smiling faces are all I've wanted to see for so long. We're finally together. Merry Christmas. I have a feeling there's a, there's a second ending to that game. The diving bell. I actually really enjoyed that. I'm going to quickly check if that did have a... Again, I don't really have time. Did it have a second ending? I 
Actually, let me quickly check. Um, just turn on display capture. So I can actually just check on Steam whether that one did have a second ending. Uh, if it does, maybe we can resume at the end and do it. I'm sure there was a... Uh, What was that one? What was the diving bell, wasn't it? Ending's only one. There is only one ending. Okay, no problem. Well, let's go back to the... Uh, let's go back to... Let's do the next one. Where's the diving bell? The diving bell is... Yeah, our next one is another late night. Let's try and blitz through as many more of these as we can before we run out of time. Yeah. Okay, this is one that's not full screen. Allow this window to continue. I'll close this window to continue. Uh, new message received. Haha, uh -huh. are you there? I'm worried about you. Rebecca signed off at this time. User is offline. Um, can I get this full screen? It's kind of... Memory low, please close window. Okay. Four people reported missing, video game developers suspected to be involved. Developer Justin Rowd and three people have played in the most recent game disappeared. At least Nova. Reynard disappeared on the 12th, lifting his wallet and keys in his apartment. Police believe the disappearance is linked. He was up and coming independent developer who has published multiple games including Don't Go Out and CCG Doom Trooper. Specialising in 2D games with dark subject matter, the game has been removed from stores and been pirated. I could download it online. Multiple sites described the game as manipulative. At least one person has reported that it might be re recruiting people, uh, although how or for what reason is unclear. Publisher Dread XP used a statement saying that they were deeply saddened by Bernard's disappearance. Next page. Hey. You know this game is really screwed up. I don't remember how we got here either. Don't worry, I won't leave you. Everyone dies. Press enter to continue. Yep. The game is a psychological thriller exploring dark themes, rumour that the reoccurring tool for cult-like group that user sites explore call Chanboard, oh for fuck's sake, these sites like the now defunct 4chan and 8chan are the frontier of social media places where there are no laws and posters can find others who share views that are not mainstream. These sites can also be home to white supremacists and other hate groups and, and two groups which are not tolerated on Facebook and Instagram. Users claim that they are also places where uh, anonymity uh, allows real freedom of expression and that people can share suppressed information. Hello, 404, your internet is out. Oh, shame. Preparing internet, please wait. You got your internet straightened up, what a relief. Hey, are you okay? I mean, it's okay if you're not. Wasn't the world screwed up? Do you want to talk about it? If I were here, listen, it's like my job, right? I really care. Let's talk about what's bothering you. What's worse, climate change, school shootings, or pandemic? Uh, well, pandemic's kind of over now, so I guess climate change. It's hard to think about, you know, everything going on right now. Then again, what difference does it make if the world's coming to end? Because if, because not the world, of course, the rocks, the planets, we're covering up in skin of work and mold will be fine. Extinction event like the dinosaurs only instead of an asteroid we did it ourselves. Although I've got to ask you even try, just one person, right? It probably doesn't matter, but are you? Are you part of the pro I don't know. Either one. You just need to find them, show them what they what it takes. What if they were looking for it right now? Wouldn't you want to find them? And you're tired of being alone, you can talk to me, I understand, I understand your fears, I understand how you're sometimes afraid and no one helps and I can let you know how you feel. If I just click anywhere, does it just move on regardless? Oh no, I do have to click one. Okay. 
Um, uh, let's go with the middle one. I'm here. But you're not a follower, right? Everyone dies alone. Press it to continue. Triple Duke, no, it's Triple Duke. His game was cool, super retro. Yo, ASL didn't play it. Bummer. Not good work. We right back up. Nope, not me. Everyone else got turn up prices. We we're trying to reach the end. Someone found us on Reddit. It's pretty weird. The, 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 the link removed by moderation. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't want to see that shit. Someone signed off. Yeah, I don't want that shit in here. Removed your link. Sorry, I'm just trying to see what happened. Looks like it's back up for missing an online video game. Now oh, we're back up this one again. Wanna hear a story? I played the game. How's it go, you ask? I know you ask because I'm you. I'm part of yourself that sometimes don't listen to. It's okay, you're not as good as me as some you're not as good as some games I've played. So get this, I'm playing and I get a text on my phone. It's from my friend, he's also playing the game. You don't want to hear this, you sure? My friend asks how far I am the game, he says I'm not getting anywhere. Oh, he says he's not getting anywhere. Then he says, oh wait, just keep going, trust me. I trust you. At first he tells me, at yeah, first he feels like I'm stuck. I almost quit then. I get it. Get what? I don't care. What the crap is this game? What is this article? Get what? Just keep playing. You'll get there. Click to continue. You're not a quitter, are you? Are you? How many times did you say you were going to, to do and you started but never finished? Exercise? He's saying, he's saying enough money. Did you complete that your work is the room a mess what does it say about you how often do you how often do you know you should do something do you watch tv or play a game like this right now your job is to finish this game right because you believe in the follow-through you don't just quit i'm not a quitter my friend and i text a couple of times he says keep going i text him that something really weird just happened he doesn't answer it's late i call him a woman picks up i don't know her a uh, friend of your friend? Question mark. Uh, no, I mean she doesn't know my friend. She's a game developer's wife and she's upset because it's the middle of the night. She asks how I got this number. She asks if I'm a friend of Justin's. She starts to cry. She hangs up on me. Do you get it yet? What's this game about anyway? What the hell's going on? Why are you talking to me? Who the hell are you? <sighs> Sorry, what's this game about anyway? Game is about finding yourself, opening your eyes. You can lie to other people, but you can't lie to yourself. What have you done? Are there parts of yourself that, that you've blocked? Yes. How would you know? Because I have PTSD and therapy. What if I could show you some of the things that you didn't remember? Show me. Have you ever tried hypnosis? Yes, it doesn't work. It makes my brain too fucked up. Have you ever tried hypnosis? I already said yes. Being hypnotized is one of the most expensive, uh, best experiences ever. Like I was in a trance. I could feel and see and hear. I just didn't care. It was better than anything. This is weird. Have you ever heard voices? Yes. No, wait, hear me out. Uh, have you ever been half asleep or something and thought you heard someone's voice? Yes. Maybe someone like your grandmother? N yes. Have you ever been somewhere you thought you heard someone call your name? Our brains are strange. That's how it started. Uh, but does this game hypnotize people? Does this game hypnotize people? People can be hypnotized if they want to be. I don't want to be hypnotized. People can be hypnotized if they want to be. Some people are more sad with hypnosis. That's very true. If the bottom of the iris of your eye doesn't go all the way to the bottom eyelid, you've got a little white crescent right under it. What? People who do are more susceptible to hypnosis. What the fuck? More likely to have ecosystemic uh, religious experiences. Have you ever had something like that? Not religious, no. You know repression works right up until it doesn't. Uh, then you might do something you don't intend to do. It might break, might snap. I see. Okay, it's almost over. Final three questions and it's done. Are you ready? Uh, questions. Don't ask me, I just work here. But I thought I was you. I've, have you ever wet the bed? You're a fucking kid. Everyone has. Uh, have you ever hurt or felt the desire to hurt another living creature, especially bugs or animals? I'm sure when I was a kid, sure, because everyone fucking does at one point when they get angry. Uh, do you have you ever had a strong interest in lighting things on fire? Maybe fireworks? Yes. Thank you. 
Response system results necessary based on psychology profile found via the dispatch to your residence. Otherwise, you'll be activated when we require your skill set. Thank you for participating in our simulation. Secret cow level. Let's close the window to exit test. Thank you for playing. Feel free to click around. I mean, is that it? I'm confused. <laughs> okay, well. Where were we? That was another late night. The thing's in the lake. The thing in the lake. We can another one we can't have on full full screen. Oh no, we can. A man reminiscing in the past get caught in a string of mysterious murders in an abandoned summer camp in East Poland. Every macabre thing, every macabre clue he finds points towards the thing in the lake hiding in murky depths. Eighth of June, nineteen ninety-two. A group of friends broke into an abandoned summer camp to relax over two weeks of exams. Kezia, a gallant girl and veterinary student, has arrived earlier to set up the tents near the lake. She doesn't let you know that she's been watched by something evil. Will she survive the evening and, until her friends find another way to the camp? Or will she become yet another macabre exhibit in the Dark Carnival? Press space to continue. Kezia, fi finally I've set up the tent. The guys said they would arrive faster in the evening. I guess I can explore the camp a bit. Press space to continue. If my friends didn't mess up the directions, they would arrive by the main gate, which is west from here. Oh, I've got a small person we can move around. Uh, west is this way, I guess? I'm not, I'm never in my east and my west. New note found, would you like to read it now? Read it now. Warmian Masurian Void Ship's History. The hills around Sonnenberg Lake are hiding many ancient pagan temples, and the people believing that their god lived in the lake itself. To this day, researchers find bones, tools, and coins thrown into the lake to appease the being. Retrieved sacrificial artifacts can be found in the Slimzaki Open Air Museum. We can't cross because it's a river. But it's good to know there's a, a thing over there, I guess. I like the music. Kind of fucky. Dig it. You spot a map of the entire lake area. It's water damaged and mostly unreadable, but one thing catches your eye. Someone has marked the, an island on the lake with on the lake with an X mark. You wonder why. Closed gate needs resort key. Okay. A new note found, read it now. An old circus poster. The Jacques Circus presents. This is the Jacques Circus and be prepared for the night of laugh, laughs, gasps, and incredible sights you won't believe. Funny clowns, piano playing dog, Igor the Terrible, firework, unite, fortune teller, but. Lefices. Dancing chickens, exotic ape and its trainer. Take your friends, enjoy the show. The great ape observes you from behind the bars of its cage. The horrible smell makes your eyes water as you get closer. I see.
key there. Powerful egg begins to tear you limb from limb. In no time all that's left of you is a wet puddle of gore and ripped clothes. Game over. I guess we can sort of speed through a lot of it. Let's take the map first, I guess. I, kinda, I do kind of like the music. It's very kind of, like, fucky. In the, the monkeys escape whatever we do. I can't just get over that. Hmm. Interesting. Right. really think is grab the notes we've got before and then something else but I don't see what we can do about the minky because the minky seems to be uh, getting in the way every time maybe if we leave and come back the monkey calms down or something do then if we can't cross this? I mean there must be a way around the monkey. But what is that way? What is that that keeps going on? Oh I have a sprint! Okay, maybe I can sprint away from the monkey. I think I needed to wait till it was slightly lower and then go again. We can't sprint yet. Can we only sprint when we get the. Oh, there was a second part of a note we picked up. Oh no, it was the note just inside the. I have a feeling we need to sprint past the monkey.
If we get them down here, we can possibly sprint past them up there and round. Oh, hang on. There's another way. Oh, no, we can't go that way yet. Thing, folks, I'm going to quickly look this up and see if I can find out. Oh, sorry, I'm going to quickly look this up and see if I can find how I'm meant to do this because I don't really want to spend too long um, fucking around with it. It apparently only saves at the ends of acts. So, oh god, okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can find something. Okay, apparently it's just one of the most uh, Difficult parts is the monkey, so let's just have another go. I'm not gonna bother gonna get the other note, there's no point. It is apparently just just need to run past it. It's just a bit difficult. this monkey. We will get past the big monkey. kind of like to get a bit further with this game, but I, equally I do feel that I don't want to be uh, wasting too much of my time on it. Still got an hour and a, we've still got about an hour and a half. So let's... Tr what we might do is we might come back to this if we don't get much further with it. But I suspect that however far we get today will probably be as far as we're going to get. Like, as far as we get right now is probably as far as we're going to get. times, maybe three, four more times, if I don't get it, we are just gonna, oh, Mr. Cat's telling me I suck at video games, I do suck at video games, Mr. Cat. I've never pretended to be any good at these games. I have a feeling that there must be a really easy way to do this, we just haven't done it. Maybe if we back off, the monkey can't follow us. Oh, he just... He just runs straight through the... Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
he just runs through all the bits. It makes me wonder if any other part of it would actually be uh, any better. not go back through the grass beds? Again, I got. It's not letting me back through there, so there must be another way or somewhere else to go. Okay. So I can't go back this way when the monkey starts. No, I think um I think I'll come back to this one. Hmm. Alright, so where were we? We were... This one. Solipsis. Begin. You know, it's strange that I've become an astronaut. Became an astronaut. I had nightmares as a kid being all alone in the moon. When I woke up, I would look out the window and find the moon in the sky. I mean, that's typical what it is. You know, to prove I wasn't still on it. Some nights, on some nights, I would see a face there. The man in the moon, he watches you. At all times. Daniel Mullins Games presents... A game for the Dread X Collection. Solipsis. Ooh, it's kind of um, dark witty. It's very dark moony. Dark moony? Dark witty. If that was a game I always should play on stream, I never get around to it. I've only played a tiny, tiny bit of it as well. I really should just play it on stream because it's just, I just love the, the, the atmosphere of it.
I like this one. This one has good atmosphere already. I don't know if anything actually happens in it though. But I, it's good atmosphere. It's a very kind of like silence, but walks the silence well. What's your reading surface? Negative six hundred fifty. <laughs> the groove meter. It must be broken. Hold on, I need to adjust my orbit. I want anything else to do, I guess we just try and find the, uh, the deep point. Ah, right, bounce it. It has very good atmosphere. As I said, it's very like dark wood. Spirals.
Lots of spirals, lots of spirals. There's something big down here. I'm not sure whether it wants me to stop or wants me to just to keep going. That is quite walking simless, but I take it. The moon has awoken. Yeah, it's a nice little give that one. I like that. Nice atmospheric little game. Yeah, dug it. That was Slipsis, we played that now. So we played let's quickly run what we've played. We played we played one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've played eight. We have four left. I don't know how we're going to get through four, but we'll do what we can. How long have we got left? We have just over an hour. This is possible. Touched by an outer god. It's been three years since the Grove invaded. Three years of struggling just to survive. My dad was made for this world. He's a Marine. He joined the Resistance early on and quickly made a name for himself. While he was off fighting, I hid away, praying for his return. I've often felt like a burden, and that I should just give up. Let this hell we live in take my life and the suffering. But he was always there to give me hope. Now, I don't know where he is. We were separated when the growth attacked our camp. He drove him away, saving me again. I need to find him. Okay, interesting premise. Choose your fate. Barely human. For those who enjoy the game with little to no hassle. Nameless, the standard experience the enemies are tough but fair. You love a challenge, you love the pain. I would go straight down the middle. Dad? Oh. They punch with either hand, okay. I'm be dexterous punching. I'm be dexterous punching. Very metalocalypse. And like art style. I hope that's growth blood. And not
There's one building. I wonder where he is. Maybe he's in there. It's locked. Oh, it's the second building. This isn't the right way. Probably she knows. Oh, so we run, and if we hold down shift, we walk. Okay. That's Those been... are his footprints. Can't jump this wall. Can okay, we jump this one? No, nope. no, we can't. But we can go around here. Aha! There's lights. There's lights everywhere. Ah, we got over it. What the hell is that? That's the orb. Oh. The um the Shit. orb. That's gonna leave a scar. Well, just as well we still have a another fist. Another orb. Do we head towards it? Probably. Feed your hunger. You are dead. Oh, do we do we always le start with a with losing a hand? I I assume so. Feed your hunger. Starving all of a sudden. Why does this smell so good? Why does what smell so good? Options. Controls. Upgrade menu tab. Oh. We regenerate their hand. You are not restructure yourself allowing for rapid growing flesh and fat. Okay. Bones. Blue boils for your health. Oh, okay.
Does it pause if I tap? Uh, I think so. Okay. Your bullets ignited the chance to catch enemy on fire. Okay. Blood from attack the enemies gets absorbed and rebuild lost tissue. The more damage that is dealt, the more health is recovered. Sure. That sounds something, I guess. Yeah, sure. Something over there. Danny, we have to leave. They're coming. I'll take the kids to our special spot near the blue ducks. Meet us there, Sue. I hope they're all right. The aim is way off. Form a shredded exterior that will absorb damage and grow back after a period, no damage for a period of time. Increases overall weight. Okay, sure. Killington's journal entry 2. We've joined it with resistance. They're small in number, but so is the human race. Soldiers have begun searching for survivors out in Boston. I've gone on a few runs now. The slim pickings and skin freaks for miles. We've found a group of eight survivors in the last where our numbers are growing. Tad's killed more growth than all of the other soldiers. This is layer 2. The growth appears to evolve rapidly. They're always changing and difficult to attract the variations over time. Their DNA is not far off from humans. Postulation. We can learn from the growth to discern possible strategy for self-evolution. If humankind evolves as a specimen, ah, as a species, we can reclaim our world. Taff Clover. Who the fuck is Taff Clover?
Keep forgetting shift is not um shift is not um run shift not holding shift is run. Optimize your muscles and shred excess weight, granting faster movement speed. I need for those. Okay. Oh. Oh, we're being bitten from behind, are we? Oh, okay. Rapid bone growth allows for launching of larger, stronger bullets that impact with greater force. Uh, both are charged for a short time. Can I upgrade the one in the middle? Can do that one. Checking there's nothing else before we move on. I don't think there is. So let's move on. Aiming is terrible. Pressurized chemicals let me jump more. I suppose the jump more is a harder one to get. All oh, right, okay, this is this mutually exclusive. Um, all right, well, those two are are done. So, what was the other one? Pressurized feet. So we can now. Now jump a lot as well. I mean, I can't say this isn't fun, but I will say that it doesn't have the hooks that a lot of FPSs have for me. I understand 
the engine. I understand why it does what it does. But equally, I, I'm not too sold on it. It's another one of those, I, I get it, but it's not really my jam. I would much rather if it aimed a little bit more. I mean, the crosshair is wildly optimistic. Um, I'm sure the backwards, um, the backwards shift thing is intentional for because for, you're meant to just run around and sometimes it probably wants you to stay still. Um, As I said, it's... I assume when it says mutually exclusive, it just means that, you know, you can get that. You can get that and it does stuff, but it can't get upgraded, I think. I imagine, I think that's what it's going for. And this does look like a boss. really viable from what we have, is it? No. I mean, there's a, is there a reason to want to jump? Like, is there stuff located higher and things that we haven't found yet? Is... I don't know. I'm dead. Also, the level one, unless you skip. Well, so let me again just have a quick look and see how long this one is meant to be. Uh, this was touched by an elder god. Uh, again, is it just an upgrade? Does it have an end? I don't think it does. Let's have a look. 
Touched by an elder god, touched by an elder god, touched by an elder god. Touched by an elder god. Um, there's no save points, there's no checkpoints. Um, uh, oh, I see, okay. Um, but yeah, it seems alright. It doesn't seem to do really do much more than this. Um, so yeah, I think we will move on from this one. Try and see at least one of the other ones before we have to stop. Uh, what's left actually? Um, let me have a look. Close this one first of all. Um, I, I definitely think I've, feel like I've seen enough to make it. Uh, I didn't mean to click on that. Oh well, fuck it. Part will turn this one. Whatever this one is. Oh, uh, let me just turn this on. This program contains graphic themes of self harm, suicide, and advisable quantities of tentacles. Lovely. Yes. Full screen. Oh. There we go. Play game. Eldritch gods, cosmic horrors, things beyond our understanding. Really gaze upon the forest to abandon all hope. The only thing protecting all of reality from final coalescence of insanity and terror is the fact that deep ones wait dreaming that awakening aligns stars held the end. Today, the stars were aligned. Damn it, come on already. Same day, shipping my ass. I only have half an hour tops until the stars move out of position. A year ago, I saw the face of an eldritch being in my dreams. It whispered its name to me. Nidla. Ever since, I've been obsessed with trying to see it again. I got really wrapped up in the occult. Dumped paycheck after paycheck on trinkets and spellbooks to no avail. I'm not the kind of person to get addicted to stuff or spend recklessly, but I can't help myself. There's something I have to do once to see it again. Was that the door? Thank goodness. I spent way too much money on getting this for me to miss my chance. The amount of money I've lost to scammers claiming to have the real deal is a little embarrassing. But as of today, as of today, I'll have a genuine Necronomicon, an ancient spellbook containing the dark rituals needed to contact the Elder Guards. Sorry about that. Uh, um, finally, I'll... Huh? What the hell is this? Why is it pink? Isn't it supposed to be, like, brown? And bigger? It's supposed to be an ancient book or something, but it looks like it just came from an office supply store. No, please don't tell me. I got scammed again. With how much money I spent this time, I thought there'd be no chance it'd be fake. Great. No way I'm getting my money back either. This scammer's probably long gone too. Damn it. I need a new hobby. Seriously. What a strange scam, though. You think they'd at least go and try for an authentic look? They really think nobody would notice their Book of the Dead in Malibu Pink? Wait. That symbol in the front embossed. This entire thing is made of real leather. The pages look gilded in gold, too. And this weight. Why'd they make a knockoff out of such high-quality materials? Maybe I'll take a look inside. Objective, perform the calling ritual. Oh. What is the calling ritual?
I don't know what I'm doing. Ah! The calling. Draw your curtains. Turn off your bedside lamp. Turn your headlights. In the dark, red, light, red fire candles there for your protection. Dark is dangerous. Put on. Find and put on your ritual neck piece when all is complete. Chant. Okay. Okay, curtains are drawn. Draw a curtain, turn off bed, so that turn overhead lights. Find and put on your ritual next. Always please chant. Click and drag the first letter of. Drag from the first letter to end the phrase. Oh god, actually work, she's here. A beacon of madness is towering over me. An omnipotent and chaos avatar of all down in calamity. Even with a year of preparation for this moment, I'm frozen in fear. For what purpose have you awoken me and brought about the end of reality? I can't talk, I can't even breathe. Blinding dread, choking terror, my very sanity is teetering on the precipice. And looking down, no. I finally got this far, I finally have my chance. I can't perish now. The Dark One, I ask you grant me one, my wish. You wish to be the first human to be destroyed, yes? So that you are spared from the cataclysm I shall wreak upon all life. No, I want to smooch you. Huh? What? Don't say it again, creep. And how are you looking directly at me without being driven mad? I see where this is going. Send me back. Uh, we could just go here. What about destroying reality as I know it? I'll do it next time. <laughs> Maybe when the stars free a in a thousand years or so. I'll be long dead by then. Exactly. Hey, I went through all the trouble of finding this damn book. The least you could do is... Huh? What, this? I bought it online. I know, I know. Funny looking Necronomicon, right? It's not a Necronomicon. It's not? What Necronomicon is bright pink, silly? God, she's cute, but what about the sudden personality change? Uh, well, if it's not a Necronomicon, what is it? It's a survival guide. For what? For dating me. I see where this is going. What, really? This thing? Mm. Full of rituals that I like, offering spells how to protect your sanity while performing them. I struck gold, I would have paid double for this. Wait, what did you just say? Protect my sanity? I am a cosmic entity beyond comprehension. So no amount of contact with me is safe for a human. Your mind could snap like a reed at any moment, actually. Oh, don't make that face. I can make it worth your while. If you understand what I'm getting at. Don't let me smooch you. Maybe you can make it to the end, darling. But if you chicken out or go insane, I'll end reality right then and there. Will you spare the world if I win that kiss? No. You knew what you were getting into when you woke me up, right? Looks like my only two options are die or die without getting a kiss. Hmm. Well, if the world is gonna end either way. Deal. Excellent. Let's begin the date then. Why don't you start with the invoke the depths ritual? Snuff out all light in the room, turn on your sink or shower to make the sound of moving water, and then chant. Okay. Snuff it all light in the room. Twenty percent for sure. We've got all this complete chant.
There's a no light. Snuff all light from the room. Do not look out your window from now on. Why? I didn't realize the light has been turned on. Home, sweet home. Are, are we? What, what did I just do? You brought the outer depths to us. Didn't you read the spell's name? Our connection is stronger now. The closer you get to where my true form lies dreaming, the stronger my influence on you in this world. Will I be okay? Just focus on following the book perfectly. Form the metamorphosis. Not for, for my okay. If you see or hear something strange, it's not your imagination, be ready. Proceed in total darkness, no lights, no candles. Ensure his image appears in no way in poster or tapestry. Okay. Continue to the next page. Total darkness, no candles, no light. Wear a ceremony ugh. Wear a ceremonial robe and ritual necklace, wear a mask or headpiece to distort your features. Have a ceremonial knife in your person. Okay. So knife, headpiece, robes. Let's check we are in darkness. Yep, yeah, we are in darkness. So, cerebral robe, ritual necklace, yep. Mask of peace, have a cerebral knife on your person. Always remember the second step on this previous page, always complete the chant. Something is not right. Illuminate your room to your comfort, necessary cold storage. Show the symbols present nearby. Okay. Symbol was it again? It's the weird six, uh, six point star. Okay. There we go. Illuminate the room to your comfort. Make sure the symbol is present nearby. Okay. Looks like. Jesus Christ. Fucking hell, how slow have I got to go with this?
take a short walk outside while you finish. Form reach into oblivion. So whatever your roll, put a bit too nice in your possession, ensure the symbol is nearby. Have another life form on your person. Wow. Oh. I'm sorry, turtle friend. Throw on your knife, throw on a robe. Her name, her name, her name, her name, her name, or name her. If you can read this, all reality is doomed. Once you start this ritual, complete all three pages quickly. You will be vulnerable until you finish. Do not open any blinds, windows, or doors, or turn on any lights, snuff any existing lights, or you will attract their attention. Make sure this is nearby. Do you know how many blows this is? Uh, do not turn any lights on this lights or you will attract their attention. Check this symbol is nearby. Okay. That's the one. Fuck's sake. Oh, the light gets turned on, right. She is coming, and sure this pimple is nearby. No. If she gets into your room, it's too late, and sure this symbol is nearby. Bad end. Load checkpoint. Okay. Reach into oblivion. Ceremonial robes and ritual knife. Again, it was the eyeball. Right. Okay. Have another life form on your person. We do.
Uh, I'm sure this symbol is nearby. Was that one here? Nope, it's not that one. Which symbol was it? Oh, it's that one. There we go. Painless. Just thanks for waking me up, you wouldn't hear the screams anymore. Or maybe you'd prefer to be safe for last. Have the whole doomed world all for yourself for a while. Though the things you'd see if you lingered. Being destroyed first or last. Which would you prefer, my darling? Have the offering on your person. What offering? I assume that that's what they want. Let the room be well lit. Where no robes or necklace have the offering on your person. I have no idea. I'll try this one. Need light. I have light on me. But even I know that saying goodbye to your world can be painful. Take all the time you need to make peace with the end. I'm going to take a short nap before I wake up for good. Could you hit the lights for me, darling? What we got? Pledge. Have a ritual knife in your person. Chant five times to fill the heart. Okay. We can do this. A 
looks like. It's done. The last ritual. You did wonderfully. <laughs> I'm afraid it's time for the dream and our date to end. That look on your face. Darling, I had a wonderful date with you. And that's because of you. So why destroy me and all of reality? Why not just stay here with me? That's what you're thinking, right? Oh, my sweet mortal darling. I'm not doing this out of malice. You've had good dreams before, right? Well, when you woke up, you destroyed those dream worlds and everything in them. Did you wake up because you hated those dreams? No. It just couldn't be helped that you'd wake up eventually. I love humans. And I'll miss you sorely. Please let your last thoughts be about that. Don't think I forgot about my promise to you. Pucker up, my darling. You've earned it. <laughs> Well, that was something. Thanks for playing. Well, that was Sucker for Love. How long do I have left? Do I have time to even try another one? Not really. What ones did we miss? Nope. That's when I load the damn thing up. What ones did we miss? Did we miss enough that we should come back another day and do the, do the rest? We missed um, to end to the end of days and Charlotte's Exile. So we missed two. Did everything else. So let's quickly run through them again. Um, oh, that's what we have done. Undiscovered. It was okay. It wasn't terrible. It was kind of clunky. Um, how dare be undiscovered? Uh, it was kind of all right. Two or three. Oh, hang on, let me just uh, put this on to just game catch because there's no point in having my, my taskbar up. Two out of three. Two or three. Not fantastic, but equally not terrible. Um, toy Shop was quite drawn out and quite confusing. Um, I kind of get what they were doing, but mm, yeah, it wasn't. It just wasn't great. I'd probably give it about two. Two out of five. Uh, arcade, again. <sighs> I kind of liked it, but equally it had no real direction what it was doing. Three. Diving Bell I really liked, actually. I'd give that one a five. Another... Um, that was kind of... A two. Didn't really have much gameplay to it. The thing in the lake, I couldn't get past the monkey. Maybe we'll try that on Thursday. Maybe we'll try again to get past the monkey. Slipsis I actually really enjoyed as well, I'd give that a 5. Squirrel Stapler was pretty terrible, I guess a 1. Um, it just, no, it just spent, I spent far too long on it, I didn't get anything done. Touch point out of God, um, give it a 3. It's about an average game. Hey Sundini, how's it going? We're literally just wrapping up. Um, I do have two I haven't played yet, which is to The End of Days and Charlotte's Exile. So I'm going to be doing them on Thursday. At the start of uh, Thursday's one. So we'll see what they're like. Um, but welcome. Um, you missed some... Mo I, would, I will definitely say... Of the ones I've played, there are no... Um, well, there's one. One I would say is pretty bad. The rest have been relatively good. Um, I definitely would say that... Uh, Diving Bell was really good. I enjoyed it. And um, Solipsis was also good. It was very Darkwood-like, um, which, again, I like that kind of thing. So there's definitely two things that I would give five for. Um, most of the rest are getting around threes, apart from Squirrel Sto Stable, which is getting a one. Um, to, end, to end it all days, and Charles XL I will do on Thursday. Sucker for Love, I don't play Dating Sims, but it was fine. It was fine. Nothing really much I could say about it. It was a three. Um, 
So yeah, the only other one, the ones I would say bad stuff about is Toy Shop was very long and not very good. Um, and another late night was again didn't really have much gameplay. It was just let's talk at you about how things are weird. Just a bit of a letdown. Uh, so let's just, yeah, it was, um, if you, if you like Solipsis, you probably like Darkwood. Um, Darkwood's another, quite a fun little, um, horror game. I've not played it on stream. I've, be, I've played very little of it, but I've, I've watched a lot of people stream it. Because I really like the atmosphere it has. Um, but yeah, if you like Solipsis, you probably like Darkwood. Pretty sure it's called, it is Darkwood, isn't it, before I, I realize I'm plucking the, a game with the wrong name. It is Darkwood, isn't it? I do own it. Where is it? Darkwood. It's not Darkwood. What's it called? Oh, it's called Darkwood. I just spelt it wrong. Yes, Darkwood. Darkwood, I would definitely say, is if you like Solipsis, you'd like Darkwood. It's, um, it's takes the, the sort of atmospheric side of Slipsis but puts it in like a forest, and, uh, a house in the middle of the forest. It's kind of fucked up, kind of atmospheric, kind of weird, but I dig it. So yeah, uh, that'll do us for today. Uh, I would finish them now, but Meow did ask me to go to bed in 45 minutes, and I want to do like the write-up of the, what I thought of these before I go to bed. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching along. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this trek through um, Dread, uh, Dread Collection, Dread X Collection 2. So yes, let's quickly see if we know anyone on. Do we know anyone on? No, we don't. All right, well, we don't know anyone on, we're just gonna call, we're just gonna, uh, just call it there. Um, but thank you very much, folks. Uh, our next streams will be tomorrow night, be Rat Run, our, uh, Mouse Guard, Cyberpunk, TTRPG. Thursday will be the finishing last two games on this, and then we'll be doing some other weird and wonderful shit. Friday uh, is Satisfactory with myself, Mr. Tom, Mr. Zeff. Saturday, uh, there might be Elden Ring, there might be something else. It depends entirely how Mr. Eden is feeling at the end of the week because there's no bell ray this week because he's been asked to work. Uh, Sunday is uh, Dark Tide, our Dragon Age TTRPG. And next Monday will be Mr. Greg doing his D&D for Last in Tales. So yes, that is that. Uh, thank you everyone once again for watching along tonight. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this wonderful trek through the weird world of indie horror. So yeah, thank you everyone. You all take care. Thank you for the raids, thank you for the follows, all that kind of stuff. Till next time, you all take care. Good night.